Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will see how you can use PostgreSQL and how you can connect it with the help of Node.js. So in this video, we will like look on all the steps you need to do to connect to a PostgreSQL and insert data, create database and retrieve the data from that with the help of Node.js. So if you don't know what PostgreSQL is and like if you don't know SQL commands as well. So don't worry. I will walk you through with all the basic commands that you need to know to watch this tutorial. So you don't need to worry about that. So the first thing you have to do to like um, write some query of PostgreSQL is to download PostgreSQL in your PC. So head over to any of the browser and search for PostgreSQL download. Here you can see this link over here. And just click on this Windows button or any system you want and you can download the PostgreSQL in your PC. So while downloading, remember one thing, it will ask you for a password. So note that password somewhere or remember that password because that will be useful to connect to the database later on and to write any query. So that password is very important. And one more thing it will ask you to like, it will give you an option for uh, changing the port number by default it will be 5432 so leave it like that don't change that and after downloading postgres sql you also have to download one more thing which is pg admin download this is just a user interface to like keep track of all your database and all the data in your uh, postgres sql so download this with the help of this download pg admin and here you will find the link for this windows button over here so you have to download these two things after that you are good to go so i'll just cancel the chrome over here now after downloading postgresql you will have this sql shell so just open sql shell or sql shell you can say here it will ask the server now we are running on localhost we don't have to write anything just hit enter here you have to define the database by default, the database will be Postgres. So just hint once again, don't type anything. So don't type anything. And here also don't type anything. But this one, the password, you have to write your own password, which I already told you, you have to remember that password that you have entered. So I will write my password over here. All right, and hit enter. And now, as you can see, I am connected to the database called Postgres SQL. Sorry, Postgres. So this is the name of my database and how I can confirm it. So let's open our PG admin as well. So this is the PG admin and the version of it is four. You can like in your case, it can be a higher version, but it doesn't matter. Just open up your PG admin. I think it will take some time. So let's wait for it. All right. So as you can see, my PG admin has been opened and here on the left hand side, you can see servers. So click on this drop down here. You will only see this Postgres SQL. Let me zoom a little bit. You will only see this Postgres SQL because I have also connected a new server, but you will only see this Postgres SQL 16. Click on this drop, drop down over here. It will connect to that server. And here you will see I have a database called Postgres. You will also see that because this is the default database. So click on this drop, drop down. Here you will see like different properties. You don't need to like know all of these. Just click on schemas and inside schemas. This is the main uh, like you can see attribute or function over here. The tables one. So click on this drop down here. You will find one table is there which I have created just now. Uh, the name of which is user 111. So let me just uh, open our SQL. And here you like before like writing any command, let me just tell you the structure. So the structure of Postgres is like you have a database inside the database. You have several tables and then inside a single table, you can have any number of columns and then any number of data. So I hope you get this structure. Now to create a database, you have to write create. Um, let's say create table and then like let's say TWD. And then you have to in braces or in bracket, you have to give the column name. So let's say um, name 
and then you have to define the type whether it is integer text or where care here i will write text because it will be a text and then i will write not null all right so the value cannot be not null like cannot be null then i will take another entry called email here also i will write text because it will be text form and also not null and one more thing i will write primary over here because it is a primary key so primary key all right here semicolon and hit enter so as you can see if you will just get this create table over here your table has been created let's see in our pg admin i will just refresh it um let me just see how you can refresh it let's say refresh so yeah now as you can see i have another table over here twd and to uh, like see the values see the rows and columns you can just right click view edit data all rows and here you can see we have name text and email which is a primary key and text so that's how you can create database in pg admin or in a postgre now let's see how you can enter or insert values so to insert values i will write insert into and the table name the table name was twd here i will give the column name which was name email and then i will write values and here i have to give the um value okay so let's write i will write over here techy web dev all right that name is techy web dev and let's say the email is twd at the rate gmail.com and at a semicolon hit enter and you will see this command that means our data has been inserted successfully let's see so i'll just um, click on the refresh over here or like you can also run it over here so yeah so as you can see our data is there name is techy web dev email this twd at the gmail.com i hope you get how you can create and insert data in pg admin now let's head towards the main part of this video which is to connect with the help of node js so i am on a vs code right now here you can see i have nothing over here let's just first open your terminal over here clear everything and here i will write npm um in it minus y because we don't have to answer any questions and here you have to download some dependencies i will install first of all pg which is the postgre um, dependency which we will be using to connect to postgre sql then nodemon and then express and i think yeah that's it that's the all the dependencies we need so let's hit enter and it will download these three dependencies all right so in the package.json you can see uh, we have three dependencies express node mon pj or pg now i will create two more files over here let's say pg.js and one more file let's say server.js all right so now let's connect our database to node mon so to do that we have to first require that pg dependency which we have just installed so to do that we have to write const and then curly braces i will write client you can give it any name here i will write require that's a require and pg all right just like that in the next line i will write const and then client let's say client it will be um give it a different name over here like a small c and it will be new and then i will use this client over here and curly braces and now inside that inside this braces or inside this curly braces you have to pass some very very important data which will help the node js to connect to postgres sql the first one is user as you can see it is recommending me as well user and by default the user of your local host will be postgre so just write postgre then host for host it will be a local host so write local host then the database 
all right so we have just created a new database or oh, sorry the database was the postgres itself we have created a new table not the database so i will write database postgres and then port number uh, the by default port number is 5432 and lastly the most important one password here you have to write the password which like which will be used to connect to the database so write your password i will write over here at the rate let's say password so yeah so that's my password over here and after that after writing your password write client dot connect give it a bracket and here we will catch that or we will write a then and catch block so write let's say then and catch block and we will write a callback function inside that i will write console log connected to pg so this will confirm that our postgre has been connected successfully and here catch i will just write console log um, can't connect to pg all right um i think we are done now and just last thing we have to do we have to export that so we can export and we can use in this server js so to do that we have to write module dot exports and then simply client that's it and this is the code in pgjs so let's head over to this server js and here we have to write the main code so first of all i will write const express let's say express and i will use require uh, express just like that and here i will write const app will be express all right and now i will get that oops i will get that um client from pg.js so i will write over here client will be um require slash pj so in this way you can easily get that client in our server.js all right and don't forget to write app.use express.json and also app.use express.url encoded and give it extended false so it in this way it will don't throw any errors all right our setup is almost ready let's listen to a port number so listen and let's write 3000 just a basic port number and then a callback function let's say port connected all right and also let's get a value in our server from the server a slash method and then a braces res and request sorry request and res and here what i will write i will write res dot send and just i will write hello from backend all right so in this way we have created the connection between node.js and postgre but we haven't write any commands yet so don't worry and to run to connect this node.js and uh, pg over here uh, like come to your terminal and write nodemon because we have just downloaded nodemon nodemon and the name of your file over here server.js hit enter and yep as you can see it is saying port connected but the pg is not connecting so let me see what is the problem over here all right guys so as you can see now it is connected to the pg uh, i have given my password wrong so that's why it is not connecting but now it has been connected so yeah so as you can see our postgre has been connected successfully so let's open a browser and go to localhost 3000 hit enter and you can see we have a message hello from backend so our backend is working perfectly fine now let's write some query as well all right so to do that i will make a function and it will be a async function so async function and then let's say 
get data here here what i will write i will first of all declare a variable called res and it will be await client dot query all right um, let's say query all right and inside this query only you have to give the sql command which you want to uh, like get the data okay so here i will write select so this is just a simple sql command and nothing else select star from table name and make sure that you have to get the table you have to get the data from the table that exists in that database so our database is postgre and we have just created a new table called twd over here so we will get the data from this here i will write select star from twd because this is the table name and that's it select star from twd and now i will just console log this um, res over here all right so let's also run this function so now if i will just save it and all right so it is saying the uh, postgres has been crashed all right guys so i have found the problem the problem was we have to uh, insert this client in curly braces and now if i'll just save it it will work so let's save it and yeah as you can see it has given me some response so let's take a look what it is so as you can see it is giving me this command select and all the details of my response so this is the main response which we have got rows in which we have a value called name techiewebdev and email twd@gmail.com that is the exact data in our table so let us just write one more data in our table with the help of the sql shell i will write insert into this table name and i will just change the data over here let me just write user@gmail.com and then um, write user1 and hit enter and now hopefully we will get two data so yeah, so now we have two data and now let's try to get these two data so i will save it and let's see so yeah so as you can see now we got two data over here and to print that data you can use a for loop so let's see that i will write for i is equal to 0 i less than and i will write res dot rows and this is an array so we can get the length and then i plus plus and then we can simply console log res dot rows and then element and we can just simply get that with the help of this so yeah so let's print it and yeah as you can see we simply got the two details and if you want to get only the name you can write dot name over here and it will get the name so yeah as you can see techy web dev and user one so yeah so that's how you can like use the queries like this to uh like manipulate the data in our database or in our postgres sql so yeah guys i think that's set for this video guys the main motive was to connect and to show you how to use node js and postgres together so i hope you learn something new over here and i hope you now know how to connect these two things so yeah guys that's it for the video guys and one more thing i want to tell you that i will be also uploading one more video which will be using postgre as a cloud service okay because now it is just a local host uh, you are using this postgre from your own pc if you want to uh, like build a app or a website you need to have a cloud database so for that we will be using aws and we will, i will be making a video on aws and postgres sql so if you don't want to miss that video subscribe to my channel it will help me a lot and you don't have to miss any of my videos so yeah guys that's it for this video i will see you in the next one